What advice would you give to an aspiring writer? Find your own voice. That's the first thing a writer has to do. A writer's voice is, it should be unique so that when a reader picks that book up, she can hear the writer talking. I've had friends say to me, Peggy, when I read one of your books, it's like sitting on your front porch and having a conversation with you. Your voice is distinctive. So that's my first advice, find your own voice. The second bit of advice is use your ear. Sometimes the ear is the most valuable writing tool. Yesterday I was writing as Elaine Hussey. I had finished a paragraph that sounded a little bit cumbersome to me. So I stopped writing, stopped typing, and read it aloud. When I read that paragraph aloud, I said, oh my goodness, these sentences are just too long. I can hardly catch a breath. It doesn't sound natural. It doesn't sound conversational. So a writer should be very much aware that the ear is one of her best writing tools. I would also say to writers, read extensively. Read, uh, discover new writers, see what they're writing about, see what they're saying. Read not to imitate, but just to absorb the words and, and the rhythm of, of a plot. Just read, know what's out there, and then go forth and write your own book in your unique voice.